my town long ago. Boys, the 4th of July has always been my favorite holiday because of the fireworks. We were watching them from our car in a downtown parking lot. The lot had a beautiful view of the Mississippi River. All of us were excited, except for my sister Mia. The only thing that gets me excited is her silly time machine. She spent all last year building one. She says it's almost done. Yeah, right. Time machines aren't real. Look, Luca, said my mom, pointing through the windshield. The fireworks shot into the sky above the tall buildings. They glimmered over the big silver gateway arch. The St. Louis riverfront lit up. I love the blue one, said my dad. Mia paid no attention. I heard her mumbling to herself while she played with the little with the little machine on her lap. Connected wires 23 and 24 and it's finally ready, Mia said. I saw her flip a switch and then something happened. Everything got fuzzy. I felt like I was flying. Suddenly, Mia and I weren't in the car. We were in the middle of a wide street. Mia had a big goofy smile on her face. Holy cow, my time machine worked, she said. We're back in time probably about a hundred years by the looks of it. I looked around. I still heard fireworks exploding, but the view was very different. The parking lot with cars was gone. The gateway arch was gone, and so were the tall office buildings. In their place were smaller, red brick buildings. I could see straight down to the Mississippi River. The St. Louis I had known was gone. There weren't many cars, just a few old ones like out of the movies. A streetcar rumbled past us and then a horse pulled cart. The street was full of families walking toward the fireworks. Most of them had four or five kids or even more. Many of the kids were holding flags. Some even had on flag hats or wore flag dresses. Everyone was dressed strangely for the middle of summer. The men wore suits and hats and the women wore long dresses. They looked really weird. I noticed people staring at us like we were really weird. I guess we look pretty funny to them. Where are mom and dad? By themselves in the car in the future, Mia said proudly. You have to take us back right now, I screamed. I can't, Luca, she said. I never connected the go back switch. I should have brought a wire or some tinfoil. Let's buy some right away, I said. We went looking for a store. The street was lined with them, but they were so different. There were no supermarkets. These shops sold fish and hats and boots. All of them have gates down the front of the windows. The stores were already closed, but it doesn't matter anyway. We don't have money, said Mia. What about the emergency credit card mom gave you, I asked. Credit cards didn't exist a hundred years ago. It's useless. Now I knew we would never get home. We kept walking. One thing hadn't changed in a hundred years, the terrible heat during summer. We were sweating so much, but nobody else seemed to be bothered. I guess they had never used air conditioning. We caught up with the horse and cart. A boy around nine years old was sitting in it. He was selling lemonade from big buckets of ice. I was surprised he seemed too young to have a job. He asked if we wanted a drink. Yes, but we don't have money, we told him. That's okay, he said, holding up two bottles. Just tell me where you got your shoes. I've only had black ones or brown ones, but yours are special. He pointed to my yellow sneakers. How could I tell him my mom bought them online? He had never seen a computer. Um, these shoes, these were presents, I said. I love them, he said, handing us a bottle opener. It was attached to the cart by a thin metal wire. Mia quickly grabbed the wire. How about we trade you the shoes for this, she asked. Deal! I gave him my sneakers. He looked so happy, Mia quickly did something with the wire and her machine. Then she turned a knob. Suddenly, we were back in the car. Mom and Dad were watching the last fireworks. They hadn't noticed we were gone. Fireworks make me feel like a kid, said Dad. It's like going back in time. Too bad we really can't, said Mom. Mia and I laughed. I decided to let her explain everything. After all, it was her machine. 